Tate McRae. Thanks for listening to my besties, Tony Fly and Simon, live from Hollywood on Hits One. Tate McRae, what's up? Um, it's been crazy. I mean, I've been writing my album for the last like six months. And this is like my first single off of it. So I'm, it's a lot of emotions, had a, a lot of mental breakdowns, but I'm feeling good now. Are you in your apartment right now? I am. Is it we'll true that you and Olivia Rodrigo live in the same apartment building? Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of us who live in this apartment building. It's like a little cute LA dorm situation. There's just like, you just see everyone. Like you can't have a bad day. That's the thing. Like you can't go downstairs and just like look bad because you're going to see someone. And I'm like, I'm just... <laughs> I'm always waiting. So I don't even have a car here yet. So I'm always waiting for Ubers. And I just have to be the one who's like awkwardly sitting there for like 20 minutes. Oh, it's just, it's rough. <laughs> At least you have the mask right now, you know? So like you don't, people don't have to like completely see you. I feel like that's my shield. Thank God. Honestly, thank you for the mask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were at the Laker game the other night with Addison Ray. How did you guys become friends? She actually lives in my building. Too. There you go. <laughs> so, I'm coming over. <laughs> Opening up for Sean Mendez, a fellow Canadian on the Wonder Tour. Have you guys spent any time together yet? Yeah, funny story. Like the first time I met him was like the worst. It was like a bad experience. It wasn't bad because he's literally like an angel god, like whatever. But I was at a hotel in Brooklyn. And like, I was like, there's no chance I'm going to see Sean Mendes here. Like out of all the places, like I was just in Brooklyn, like just finished a workout, looked horrible. I was like on FaceTime, like full on, like legs open, like sitting on this like bench, just like not cute, <laughs> like the worst sight. And basically I just hear someone be like, Tay, we're going on a tour. And I'm like, no, 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 this can't be <laughs> <laughs> and I like look up and I'm like, oh, it's like Sean Mendes. <laughs> and it was like the first time we like ever met. And we like talked and I was like, oh, like this is like the worst thing ever, but also amazing because he's like really sweet. And then absolutely- he's the nicest guy in the world, isn't he? Oh, my yes. God. He actually asked me, he was like, where's your Canadian accent? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm like really nervous. Well, let us know when Sean and Camila move into your apartment building. <laughs> A lot of your songs are about love and heartbreak. Are you mm -hmm. dating? Uh, straight in. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, he lives in the building too. <laughs> yeah, he lives in the building next door. Um, <laughs> no, I actually, it's like very much why I'm releasing this song is I just went through my first ever like real heartbreak. So mm, I know, I know uh, it's like very, it's annoying, but at least I'm like, you know, getting to talk about it in some sort of sense. Cause it's, it's weird. Like I just, I've written so many songs based on fake scenarios. I remember the first time we spoke with you, we asked you who broke you first and you're like, no yeah, no, nobody. I was like, no one. And now I'm like, ah, oh, don't play that song. <laughs> Feel like is like the most relatable song. Like he didn't call me tonight and yeah. I'm up all night. It's interesting because I, you you always think like that the worst part of the breakup is going to be like the second where you're like, we're breaking up. And then you're like, after those like hard minutes of like talking with each other, you think that like, it's going to be like fizzle out from there. And I feel like I was like, fine when we, <laughs> when we broke up and then it was like the, the worst feeling in the entire world, which is like kind of what this like song is revolved around is like when the person stops to care. Um, and that's why this is like really, it's like, it's heartbreaking because there's just like you meet people and you're like so close and then you're like strangers all of a sudden. And I think that's like the weirdest transition for a person to go through. How long so were you guys together? A year and a half. Well, I literally have never talked about this. Well, no, it's, we it's, love yeah. you. I love you guys, too. <laughs> it was a pandemic thing, and now the world has opened up, and you're opened up to possibilities, and it's a whole new world now. You are so right. You are so right. <laughs> and now you get to put out this song that embodies all of that, and maybe it'll feel like such a release for you. I'm, I'm really interested because we like the music video. I'm actually most excited for because it's like the first time that I'm dancing in a music video, like like fully 100 percent dancing um, wow. throughout the entire thing. Um, and so it's going to be weird. because It's like the first time that both of my like two worlds are like kind of coming together. So I'm really excited because it tells the whole story of like a relationship and I'm excited. I just, I just literally can't wait for people to hear it and see it and see what they think. Tony Fly and Simon hits one.